Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about React and Web Components and how they're finally going to be working together as they should. Uh, currently there's problems uh, passing properties, handling events um, with a web component in React if you just plonk it straight in there. Um, but with the latest release, latest 18 experimental, that looks as though it is now finally resolved. So we're going to jump in today, give it a try, um, show it not working in 17 um, and then eight, pop 18 in experimental and see hopefully that, that fixes the problems we'll do it with the events um, and, and show that if you find yourself enjoying the video though feel free to click that subscribe below change the little icon to all and you'll get updates okay i'm going to do a quick setup here i'll put a timestamp down below because it'll just take a few minutes to get the boilerplate set up you can watch this or just skip forward so yep going to create a basic react app uh, a lit um, web component put them together try and get the events going okay um right npm init i guess to start and then let's get react and react dom in here that's good and then we'll get into our editor and uh, we'll pop him over there i'll make you just a bit smaller to start with right Let's create a very simple myapp.js for our React app. We'll import React. And we'll import React DOM. Like so. And let's create our app. So my app will call it. And we'll just get it to return. So very simple. So this is React. Okay, that's cool for there. Uh, we need to render it. So uh, React DOM dot render, and it's going to be my app. That so we can see it. And we'll have a little placeholder on the web page of my app. All right, hopefully that just puts that up on the screen for us. If I create a quick web page, uh, index HTML. And what do we need? We want a div with the ID of my app. And then we want a script. And the file was my app, my app.js. Uh, and we want that to be a module. All right, if I run parcel against that will it open up for us okay so there's our react app now let's create a web component to um, place within there uh, okay so um let's let's create a new folder call it my component and i literally want to go in there you a bit bigger We'll do an npm init in there and then we'll install um lit element in here and we can open that up let's open it up in a new window yeah okay right uh let's save off here my component no we'll call it uh index actually index.ja we'll do this typescript index.ts we would need lit element and html that'd be from lit and then because i'm using typescript i want um custom element uh just custom element actually that should be good and that'll be lit decorators. 
actually, and we should be able to create my component. And do something very simple in here as well. Uh, I will want a button on here to raise the event. So let's have a button and just set that up while we're here. What will it be? Handle, no, raise. Raise web component, web component event. Sounds good. That, uh, I'll just have a div in here for. For that guy. Uh, okay, and to register this, because we're using TypeScript, we can do custom, custom element, and say my component, custom, custom. What would we need? We need a, a TypeScript file, and in there we just want to set this up. So that it works well with lit. So we'd have ES next for the target. ES next. Um, module resolution node and experimental decorators. That should be good there. So if I did a T, whoops. If I did a CSC in here. Um, yep, that's pretty legit. Uh, that's very legit as well. I need the event handler. So let's have const raise to we see event. Right, we need to um, just, oops. Hide this for a minute. We've got some more room. Uh, what do we need? We want to make an event in here. Let's say event equals new event and we'll call it build, say. And then we can just do this dot dispatch and put that in. So I'll console log out here just so we can see where we are. And we can say raised raised uh, the event in the web component. Uh, this is a class base, so we need this keyword in there. That hopefully is good for our component. Um, let's do a TSC watch just in case. That's all fine. And I'm going to do an npm link so we can use this in our React component as well. All right, so hopefully we don't have to come back in there. Uh, let's go back into React. Uh, we want to use that component now. Uh, I'll just stop parcel for a minute. And we would do an npm link my component. And once we've got that, we can then import this component. And use it in here. I would like to be able to go to my component. Like so. And if I parcel that now. Then, okay, so we've got the React still, and then we've got the um, the lit element web component there with nothing in the button. Uh, raise WC event. Okay, so that looks a bit better there. Um, 
All right, that's our setup. Um, finally got that bit good. What we want to do now is try and handle this event. So what would we do? We would normally, you know, for a web component, we would come on here and we do an on and then the build name. So we do on build and we'd say um, handle WC event and we create create that as well. So we'd have handle WC event. And we just want to console log out here that it's worked because it because that's what that's what this latest React is meant to be fixing. So did we manage to handle the event? Uh, at the moment, when I click this, we should get at the very least. If we come back into our web component. We should click this button here. It will call raise WC event. That will create our event and dispatch it. And we should get, at the very least, if things are working, raise event in WC. So let me close that one down. Um, if we bring up here and click there. Just make this a bit bigger. Right, so we're getting raise event in WC, but we're not getting success handled so it's it's raising the web component event but this part react today doesn't doesn't uh doesn't manage to hook that up and handle that event so what we want to do is look at the latest version and that should just get things working for us right so let's stop parcel uh we need to get a latest version of react so i'm gonna i'm gonna take out our existing version, take out React here, do an npm install, uh, that will have smashed my link, so I'll do an npm, oh, you can't see under there, just make it bigger, do an npm link my components again, so that will be back in, and then we want to get the latest versions of React. So I've got these open in a tab um, just here. Copy it down. All right, so NPM, uh, experimental. Let's, I want you. So we go into that version on NPM and grab that there. Uh, this is the React DOM part. That's fine. We, we need that. So I'm going to paste that one in. We got React DOM. Then I'll come back into this guy here. Look at React. Uh, am I on the right page already? No, I'll go into experimental. And grab that one. Okay. Install that. All right, we can see we've got the experimental version. So this is React 18 uh, with the experimental additions. Uh, right, we need to change slightly the way we create our app now that we're on React 18. So I'm just going to come in, comment that guy out, and just put the new version in there and upgrade it so with react 18 we get the container and then we call create root so there's a few more lines than it used to be uh it just makes it a bit more uh i'm not sure what it helps but it, it's probably helping something um and i just need to change that to my app all right and the import will change to um a library import like so so will we now see this event being handled? Uh, let's do parcel index HTML again. Uh, oh, I need to do, I thought I did the relink. Have I just got a, have I just got a typo in here? In my app. I'm going to call this as an arrow function. So let's try running it again. 
Doesn't like that. So let's do an npm link. Find components again. Does drop out at various times. Right, okay, so we we're just missing that link. That's fine. Uh, if you would move over to the side, thank you. And we come in here. So last time we got raised event in WC in web component, but we did not get in here and get success. When I click on it now, raised event WC and still nothing else. Uh, refresh. Refresh, clear. Uh, yes, okay, refresh works. Nice. Uh, right, so we got raise event in WC and success handled web components. Um, and the order of that is because of the way I did it after the dispatch. Um, so there you go. That That has fixed um, the event handling, um, the properties. We won't go into properties because this is just too long, but you can see that it's, it's now allowing web components to work correctly in React. Um, like for lit element, there was a lit labs create react react wrapper that you could use that would that would do this stuff for us. That can that can now be pushed aside, no longer needed. You can just use this native uh, once React eighteen or subsequent comes out with these changes. So pretty exciting. Uh, it's going to be great. It's great for web components. It's great for React. Uh, looking forward to be able to do that without having to worry about getting it in um, using whatever hook and crook that it needs. Right, uh, thanks very much for watching. Hope it was interesting. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that. Thumbs down if not. Don't forget to click subscribe below. I'll catch you next time. Bye.